So typically with FRC design, you'll use something called Crayola CAD at the beginning of your design process. So I'm just scrolling through this thread to show you some examples. So you can see 2014, 2015. And the idea is you have these blocky models that allow you to represent what your robot is going to do without having to go full detail. So I'm going to show you how to implement this into Unshape and how to get all the necessary things for your workflow in order to utilize Crayon Cat. So number one, what we'll do is we'll press the public button in our create and we'll paste in this string of text. We'll then press the create add or edit labels button by hovering over a crayon CAD and clicking this. And then we're going to press create new label and call this crayon CAD. Once we do this, we should have crayon CAD checked marked under document labels as so. If it isn't already check marked, you can press the check mark again, but this should allow you to have access as a label. Now we can create a document and I'm going to call this crayon CAD test. As so, and then we'll just create this. Now we are in our assembly. So once we're in our assembly, I'm going to rename this to Crayon CAD. Go with the C this time. Uh, then we can go to our insert, go to other documents, and we can see that we have a label that's called Crayon CAD. We can click this label and click all the way to our assemblies and this shows all the possible importable assemblies that you can use for your crayon cad so starting off you would usually insert a swerve as so i'm sure why my on shapes doing that but i guess it is and we now have our swerve inserted we can fasten this to our origin using the bottom right here and then now our drive chain is fixed in place. I can press shift P to remove the mate connector and I can play around with what I want to do. So say I want to insert an intake, right? So we know that the dimensions of this drive chain are 26 inches. We can then go to our intake, plop down intake and Actually, let's see, and we can go to our configuration. It's all right at 26, so we're good. And say we're doing a 9.5 inch diameter game piece. And I want to make the rollers a little bit bigger. I can press generate, and then I can insert the slop down and take a cell. I'll take a little bit for it to load, but then the slop down intake is imported. Once you do this, you can just fasten this however you need, or you can made it like say we can made it here using this mate connector and the slap down intake is added to the crayon cad so like this is out of frame perimeter so say that i don't want it i want to move it i can also change it so that i can change the position and whatnot so that the crayon cad is accurate so i think this actually uses the bottom yeah, but you can also just move this around. So say we want to put the tube here, we can also do that. But you have a lot of freedom on what you want to do. So we can maybe insert an elevator. You can change the dimensions of the elevator. Say we want a two stage elevator. So then we can generate it. And then click it, it should insert. And you can see this is an elevator. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can mess around with Crayon CAD. I'm not going to show you how to do it exactly for specific mechanisms, but you can play around with the library and see how it goes. Have fun!